Do you want an easy way to hang game cameras on private or public land and not break the bank? Stick around today and I'll show you an easy, inexpensive way to build a game camera mount that will offer more flexibility than most store-bought models. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, my name is Larry Conley. Because I spend most of my time uh, hunting public land, screw-in type mounts for game cameras just don't work for my setup. I saw a video on Do-It-Yourself Sportsman channel that gave me an idea to build a cheaper camera mount uh, than the commercial version and it gave me more flexibility in using it on public land. Now you can purchase all the materials needed to complete this project at your local hardware store. I bought many of the pieces in bulk and I built several camera mounts for the cost of what I would have paid for one commercial mount. I'm going to show you how to build a model uh, that can screw into a tree if you hunt on your own land or if you hunt on land where you can use this method. I'm also going to show you how to build a public land friendly mount to complete the do-it-yourself screw in game camera mount you're going to need the following items and you can get these at your local hardware store one 3 8 inch thumb screw one 3 8 inch wing nut three 3 8 inch flat washers one 1 quarter inch by two and a half inch eye bolt one screw in eye bolt one 1 quarter inch wing nut and one 1 quarter inch nut so to put the uh, camera mount together is actually pretty easy. Take your uh, thumb screw and place a washer, 3 8 inch washer over the thumb screw. Uh, take the uh, eye bolt, the, the screw in eye bolt, place that on there, place on another washer, place on the 2 and a half inch uh, eye bolt, and then finally another washer and then put on the uh, wing nut and then just tighten them all together and now you've assembled the uh, camera mount uh, the next thing you want to do is take the uh, quarter inch wing nut and you want to put it on backwards so it would be opposite of the way you would normally put it on the bolt and then I use a quarter inch nut and the reason I do that is on a lot of these game cameras they have a brass fitting uh, in the plastic body that, that attach, attaches to the uh, mount to uh, put them on a tree. Uh, these aren't put in there uh, really well and sometimes if you over tighten these you can pull them out. So to prevent that from happening I put a, a quarter inch nut on here and then I use the wing nut to tighten up against to keep it from backing out. So this is what I was talking about on the cameras. You can see right here there's a uh, brass insert. This is an older uh, wild game camera. And so you can see this brass insert. If this is over tightened, and this one's actually pulled out before and I've had to put it back in and use some super glue or something to try to keep it in place. But th that's the problem you run into. And these are usually mounted flush in the body of the camera so you can over tighten these and they'll pop them out. So that's what you want to be careful of. So to attach the camera, just insert the screw and uh, start uh, tightening it up. Uh, now you don't want to, like I said, over tighten this. And then once uh, it's in there, use the wing nut. And you can make adjustments to this however you need. And then uh, tighten it up. Tighten up your wing nut and that will lock it in place. And now this is ready to uh, it's ready to go on the tree and you can adjust this to face the whatever direction you need by adjusting the uh, bolt where it connects to the bottom of the camera then I'll just tighten it up with the uh, wing nut now this part so this gives you the ability to uh, adjust the angle of the camera so when it's mounted in the tree uh, you can put this uh, at different um, angles to the ground and you can also if the tree for example has a branch that's uh, canted or slanted down toward the ground more 
instead of the camera being like this, you can you can bring it up. Uh, and so it just gives you more um, a more versatile mount than a lot of the commercial mounts. A lot of them are just uh, a straight shaft and the camera can only sit on that mount straight up and down. So uh, it actually, it gives you a little bit more uh, versatility in, in mounting your cameras uh, based upon the tree that you're using. To complete the public land game camera mount, you'll need the following items. One 3 8 inch thumb screw, one 3 8 inch wing nut, three 3 8 inch flat washers, two quarter inch by two and a half inch eye bolts, four 10 24 by three quarter inch machine screws and nuts, two wing nuts, uh, quarter inch and two quarter inch bolts, and one three inch uh, slotted plate. Uh, you'll also need a quarter inch drill bit to enlarge the holes in the plate and to uh, tap a hole in the center for one of the two and a half inch eye bolts. To assemble the public land camera mount, three eighths inch uh, thumb screw, place one of your three eighths or three eighths inch washers on it. Eye bolt, washer, eye bolt, washer, and then 3 8 inch wing nut. And then tighten those down, and then that will complete the assembly of that. Your 3 inch squared uh, mounting plate, you'll have to center tap this particular brand that I got. I had to center uh, or tap the center hole out uh, for this. And then I enlarged the other holes for the uh, 1024 uh, machine screws. So go ahead and uh, insert those through there and install the uh, nuts. On the camera, bracket itself, the mounting bracket, you want to install the wing nuts backwards so they'll be actually upside down to what they're, they would normally be installed on the uh, two and a half inch eye bolts. Insert one through the center of the uh, mounting plate and install the nut on the other side. You want to be mindful when you're installing this that this doesn't extend out further than the uh, three-quarter inch uh, machine screws. Otherwise, this is going to hit the uh, trunk of the tree and it's going to cause this to be uh, unstable. So once we've got that on there, we're ready to mount our camera. Take your game camera. Attach it to the uh, post and we'll secure that on there and then tighten that up with the wing nut and adjust the uh, angle and then you can go ahead and uh, attach that to the tree and this is ready to go. So pretty easy. This can be attached to the tree in a variety of ways. You can use uh, paracord. You can use rope, you can use bungee cords that will attach, the metal clips will attach to the holes on the uh, three inch plate. Uh, one thing I have noticed on these particular cameras, this is an older, like I said before, older uh, wild game camera. The backs of these cameras have uh, holes that the 1024 screws will um, work with. So one of the things that I've found was with the wild game cameras, uh, they didn't, some of them do not have the brass fitting on the bottom to attach to a um, mounting bracket to attach to the tree. So what I did on these, uh, they do have the brass fittings in the back of the camera and it works with the 1024 screws. So I just attached a three inch plate to the back and drilled a hole out in the center with a quarter inch bit and attached it to the eye bolt and it worked just fine. 
So that, pretty easy. You may have to make modifications depending on the type and style of camera that you have. Most modern cameras now uh, that have been produced in the last few years all have the quarter inch fittings on the bottom to attach to a mounting bracket. But this should work for any uh, game camera that's out there. So to hang your camera on the tree, we're going to use a piece of paracord. And uh, we're going to use a trucker's hitch to secure it. So what you want to do is just take your cord or your rope and make a loop in the cord, just like that. And then feed this tag in back through and then just pull it tight. And then that will create a loop for your trucker's hitch. So once you find your uh, tree that you want to put your camera in, just go ahead and place the bracket up against the, the trunk. <clears throat> and you may have to adjust this bracket uh, at different angles to get it to bite into the trunk and secure itself. Bring your rope around, around the post, and then we're going to feed it back through that loop that we made. And then this is going to act as a pulley, so you want to go ahead and pull that, pull that tight. Then we're going to use a half hitch in this to secure uh, the rope. Make sure that when you're doing this that you keep tension on the rope, otherwise uh, you're just going to have to start all over again. And then do another, a second half hitch to finish it off. Just like that. So now you can make adjustments to the camera. There you go. And so this is a pretty easy way to put your camera on the uh, on a tree with a do-it-yourself uh, camera mount. This is public land friendly. It doesn't do any damage to the trees. There's nothing getting screwed into the trees going to damage the bark or the tree itself. So you'll be good to go on that. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is I left the uh, this silver. I didn't paint it yet. Uh, so you can see it a little bit better. But before I take this out to the woods, I'll uh, use some camo paint and I'll camo the uh, bracket itself up. And this is up above uh, eye level of people walking through the woods, they'll never see it. This do-it-yourself project is easy inexpensive way to hang your game cameras on private or public land. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notification for future videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.